Okay, today's video is going to be about Vista and RAM. Now those two things are really pretty big right now with Windows Vista. Now the system requirements, Windows says you really only need 512 meg minimum to run Vista. And I'm going to say right now, if you're going to run Windows Vista with 512 megabytes of RAM, that's a mistake. I have, you can see under memory, RAM, I have 4 gig, and this is Vista 64. Now, if I open up help and about Windows in my computer, physical memory available to Windows is about 3.1 gig. I don't know what happened to the rest. This, this is 64-bit Vista Ultimate. So if anybody knows what I've done wrong here, please let me know. And it's not a hardware problem because it did work. It shows... 4096 meg in the BIOS, Vista C's 4 gig, uh, and it worked when I first installed it, but it does not now. So, anyways, I I'm using DDR2 800 megahertz RAM, which is probably pretty good RAM. Now, 32-bit Windows Vista really can only see and utilize or use about 3 gig, which isn't a whole lot for some people. But for the average user, I would say one and a half to three gig is great. Now, you're buying a new computer today. Most of them come with three gig. Now, two would be fine. And four is good for the power user. Now, do I consider myself someone who needs that? No. I have four gig because I just feel special with four gig, I guess. So, And I've also found out, I don't know if this is um, proven true or not, but if you have... Most laptops, I'm on, a, I'm on a laptop here, they have two DIMMs, or two bays, where you can insert memory. And if you have each of those DIMMs equal, like a, like a half a gig and a half a gig, a gig and a gig, two gigabytes and two gigabytes, then your graphics, for me, is better. Like, this machine, it's an HP Pavilion DV6809WM, came with three gig, a two gig and a one gig. I took the one gig out and installed the two. My graphic, my gaming graphics before they were a 2.5. Now it's a 3.0. All I did was change the RAM and use this to 64 bit, which, if anything, is less compatible with graphics drivers. But anyhow, uh, 64 bit Vista can see. I'm an ultimate 64 bit ultimate can see over 128 gig of RAM. However, 32-bit ultimate can really only see about 3 gig. Some people might say 4, but I can't even get 64-bit to see and use or utilize 4 gig. As, as you can see, I'm only on 36%, which is uh, probably about 1.2 gig, 1.1 gig. This is a dual core. So, anyhow, that is the RAM. But DDR2 is the kind of RAM you're going to want to buy now. Most new machines, that's what they have in it, and that's what I would suggest. Now, some of you are probably thinking, I've got 667 megahertz RAM, and I'm using 800. 800, I just had the extra money to go for that. Do I notice a big difference? No. However, my RAM is rated a 5.7, and it only goes to 5.9, so I suppose that's pretty good. But 667 is fine, 533 isn't even that big of a deal if you're a little lower, but it's fine. So for the average computer user, again, 1.5 gig to 3 gig is great. So system requirements, again, is 512 meg. You run it off that, you can't even get the Windows arrow. This may look choppy for you on YouTube, but it's really not here. You can't do the flip 3D. You don't have transparent glass. You can kind of see that this is transparent up here. But you really don't need that. It's just eye candy if your hardware can support it. And evidently mine can. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.